Hi, so this is really weird for me talking here. Well, I'm gonna try and explain how to do the effects I did in my last video, but like more slowly. So for this first, you need to have like some kind of background and I'm just using a color clip because that's easier for me. So this one will be gray, beautiful color. Um, so on this gray background, you want uh, a text to appear. So first you have to make a title clip. You can write whatever you want. Um, and use whatever font you want to. Uh, I really love Lovello, so that's what I'm using. Mm. And let's say that I want it black for now. I also want this text to appear from some kind of bar, so I'm creating a new title clip because it also allows you to make some shapes and with Alt R you can make a rectangle. So I'm using a rectangle but same, you can use any shape you, you want actually. I think it looks good this way. Maybe a bit smaller because I have a small text. Okay, so. And you have them all stacked so that, well, it actually looks a bit big. A bit too big. That's better. So, um, then you want your text to move. So my pro well my favorite is to use transform because you have these um, nice and smooth keyframes. Why the fuck isn't it moving? So sometimes you have some weird stuff happening with your life, and you just usually need to add some compositions here. So composition transform. And copy and paste. So here, will it move? Here's the question. Yes, it mo it's moving, it's moving. So I'm hiding it totally behind foot, and this is to center. Then about here, I'd want it to be all the way up there. Center. You're at the same point, and there, back where it came from. Centered again. Um, here I want it smooth, smooth, and everything is smooth. Yes. So now you have it moving. Well, it's kind of too slow. I don't like it this way. Um, but, well, your main problem is that it isn't hidden at all. And the great thing with Caden Live is that you have this rotoscaping effect, which you can use for actually a lot of stuff. And here I'm using it to hide something really simple, but I think using rotoscoping is the better way. So I'm gonna take roto, okay, add it on the title clip, come here and hide everything I don't want to be seen, yeah. So you have, actually you can use anything you want. I just use the first one I take and then I try them all until one is the one I want. That's the one, it's minimum. And now I'm not sure if I have them in the right, yeah, it's not good. <laughs> That's not what I wanted and um, it's, Subtract. Yeah, I kind of always try them all. And now you have it appearing there. Okay, so it's going too far. So I'm back to this one, to the transform effect. And I'm gonna move it 
a little bit this way, a little bit this way and maybe it will be better, yeah, a bit less. I need to move it, maybe if I just say do this it will be okay, no, this one will be center too. Okay, how's that? Still disappears a bit. Well, I think the easiest, easiest way is to move it back that way, that way a bit more. And yeah, it's all good. And no, it's appearing. It's kind of too slow again. I'm gonna move that a bit. Wow. Fast, faster, faster, faster. I I like it when things are fast, as you can see in all my videos. And how's that? My text is appearing beautifully. Love it. Yeah, so for the other one, I'm gonna do another video if you are interested, because that's already long enough. Bye-bye, <laughs> hope you enjoyed.